It's known as the Hershey Prison, and we get home release. I've worked 28 days straight consecutively without a day off at Hershey. I've worked 33 days straight. 72 days consecutively. I was exhausted, both physically and mentally. Did I try to get days off? Yes. I was denied that weekend unless I got my own coverage. Our first focus is, it's all about the well-being of our employees. We were considered essential employees, so yes, the overtime was there. Yes, the overtime was forced. Very much important is how you treat people. There's no empathy or sympathy within their system. People are going on their breaks and just not coming back and not wanting to be a part of it and leaving. They obviously had people or agents watching our Facebook post or our social media. I work on the outrageous, outrageous O'Henry line. On the new Reese Cup line as a rapper operator. My lines at Hershey was strictly Almond Joys and Mounds. We have the two-tier system that started with my group that come in in 2008. Tier one employees tend to make between two to three dollars more than tier two employees, and they have a significant amount of more vacation. The ones that are on the old pay scale, they have a pension, whereas I do not. I was led to believe that there was a five day a week um, work shift. Once getting there, that was completely false. Production workers feel that Hershey's does not want to replace the equipment due to cost, cuts into their, their bonuses. Um, with the machinery not being maintained properly and being outdated, it's constantly breaking down, which means that you're never going to get a day off because you got to have those days to make up for the downtime. I have seen favoritism that is unreal. There's not really much room for advancement if you're not in one of the cliques, if you're not a family member of someone um, that's in power. The point system that management has now just reflects a non-caring attitude towards employees. If you get sick, you will get a point for that time lost or that time missed. Even though we have sick days built into our policy, those sick days count against you. And you're only allowed to miss five days out of 365 days a year. At three and a half points, the company deems that you have some sort of um, emotional or mental issues and they send you to counseling um, for missing three and a half days of work out of an entire year. A certain supervisor told me that I could not discuss the union on the company floor. That's illegal. When management found out that I was very active in a previous union, I started to get a lot of attention from management. And I felt like I was being watched, especially on breaks. A business unit leader for my department um, earlier had shown me, had brought me his phone, and it showed a post that I had made on our union page. We intend to now file unfair labor practice charges against management because we're not going to turn our heads on spying on union activities, which is illegal. Um, even the impression of surveillance is illegal. At Hershey's, there's a fear of retaliation. It's real, and we're seeing it. I was late coming back from a designated break. I took 44 minutes. It was supposed to be 30. I was talking in the locker room, lost track of time, and when I come back, there was management. There is no doubt in my mind that I have been terminated because of my union activities, because they know that I support this union 100%. The normal procedure is you'll be warned, you get a reprimand, a verbal warning, a written warning, eventually a suspension, uh, but no one's terminated right off the bat with that. I was basically fired on a first time offense, but they're using a previous disciplinary action against me to further my termination. When was that disciplinary action? Six years ago. This will be probably a dozen unfair labor practice charges at this point. Hershey shares hitting an all-time high today after beating Wall Street expectations and raising guidance for the year. Other factories within the area were getting hourly raises as much as $2 an hour, but we were given like a $200 lump sum.
You know, I'm so proud of our employees for how they've united together and operated with agility to capture this opportunity for double digit sales and earnings. It was a pleasure working there except for the never ending overtime, um, the not being able to get sick without penalty, and the constant fear of being written up or fired over the smallest infraction. We need this union. They're spewing nothing but half-truths. They're lying through omission. They're fear-mongering. They're gaslighting. And they're just running scared, in my opinion. A message to the awesome fellow co-workers there is, hang tough, we're gonna make a difference. 